It's a story that gripped our community for weeks. One year ago, a mother reported her child missing in Jacksonville, and the search led law enforcement to Alabama, where five-year-old Taylor Rose Williams, you see video of that precious girl, and now a picture of her, uh, remains were found. Big, beautiful smile. Her mother, Brianna, tonight is still in jail. On your side's Kaylee Tracy, with the latest now on the case and how we got here. Just after 7 a.m. November 6th, 2019, a five year old child is reported missing from this home just north of downtown Jacksonville. Six days later, little Taylor Rose Williams remains are found in a wooded area in Alabama. And a year later, her mother sits in jail connected to but not directly charged in Taylor's death. Before Brianna Williams became a suspect in her daughter's disappearance, she was a lot of things. Homecoming queen, valedictorian, Navy petty officer, and eventually a frantic sounding mother. She was here with me. <laughs> Canine units and helicopters scoured the Brentwood neighborhood Williams had just moved to with little Taylor Rose, as well as their former Southside apartment complex. This is a little baby. This is somebody's child. And, we've been, and I've been out here running these streets, every corner, every, every house that's vacant. I've been in every garbage can looking for this baby. Williams told detectives the girl was gone when she woke up, a story detectives almost immediately doubted. You know where this is going to lead to? Mm -hmm. Okay. They called your mom. Mm -hmm. She hasn't seen your daughter since January. Yes, she has. Okay. Why did she say that? October. Soon after, she stopped cooperating with police. She has not spoken to us since Wednesday, and she was the last person to see Taylor. After cadaver dogs smelled decomposition in Williams' car, JSO expanded the search to Williams' hometown, Linden, Alabama. And on day seven of the search, the multi-state agency investigative team here involved in the search for missing Taylor Rose Williams confirmed that search teams uncovered human remains in a wooded area between the cities of Linden and Demopolis, Alabama. That same day, Williams attempted suicide. No, 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 you're not going to go, no, 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 no. Williams was eventually moved from the hospital to the jail and charged with five felonies, including aggravated child abuse for the alleged willful torture or unlawful caging of a child. Those charges based on evidence found at their Southside apartment, including feces and urine in the closets, soiled children's underwear and soup cans with holes in the lids, possibly for the child to eat out of. Clearly, there's a case of neglect. We know that. Williams has pleaded not guilty and requests for an interview with Williams were declined. But as First Coast News crime analyst Mark Bachman notes, she has never been charged with murder. She's already been formally charged with other charges, so there's no real rush to do this. And, and if you're going to do it from the state's perspective, you want to do it right. Taylor's autopsy, while listed in discovery, has not been publicly released. Bogman says you need the cause and manner of death to determine charges directly related to Taylor's death. The autopsy may not totally reveal that, but um, and that's the, what the state is dealing with right now in charging her. With no trial date set, Williams remains in jail and the site where her daughter's remains were found now marked with a headstone and a memorial just down the road from Linden High School, where a decade ago she graduated at the top of her class. I reached out to family members, friends, and neighbors, some of whom I interviewed last year, all declined to comment other than Brianna's father, who regarding Taylor said one year later, quote, it still hurts. Reporting in Brentwood, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.